What's up? Call me Kate and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I customized the four foot paddle with over 40 years of chapter history for my beloved BGLO. But before we go any further, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let's go. Okay, so first thing before getting started was I got my list of supplies. In total, it came out to about $230. A link to all the supplies will be listed below. If something worked out better or worse for you, please let us know in the comments. Okay, so when I received the paddle, there was a crack in the handle. And based off the reviews, this is definitely something that's happened before. Nevertheless, what more to do, I glued up the crack and saw it through. Next, I painted the assorted letters, numbers, and text with old gold paint. When it came to using the artist's loft paint, it seemed very transparent. This meant putting way too many coats on the smaller letters. Because of this, I ended up having to switch to that good old Rust-Oleum metallic gold spray paint. Luckily, I had a couple of these chilling in the cut. After painting the letters, I went on to spray paint the edge and corners of the paddle. To get a full blend, it took about three to four layers. After that, I applied two more layers of paint with the paddle erected on its side. Next, I coated the stencil of a faro with gold spray paint and outlined it in black marker two times. It took a while trying to decide where exactly it should be placed. After several arrangements, this symbol ended up being placed right below the fraternity letters near the top of the paddle instead of below the chapter lineage as seen here. Then, I came back to use the artistic loft acrylic paint. However, this time it was in black for the front of the paddle. I didn't have to worry as much about the paint being too thick or transparent, so I was able to apply as many layers as necessary, which was about four solid layers. Though it took more time than expected, this craft was coming out great, and I couldn't wait to see the final product. I take it that the Egyptian god Horus must have been pleased as well. During this point of the craft, a falcon landed on my air conditioner with this catch of the day. Now that everything was painted, it came time to apply it all onto the paddle. Using wood glue, I applied the letters, numbers, and seasons to the paddle, making sure everything was even. This part ended up taking the most time. After applying the chapter letters, founding date, and moniker onto the paddle, I then went to place the labels on which had the name of each line. These labels helped in preventing me from gluing the lineage on crookedly. Next, I needed to go back and now glue all the semesters, as well as the crossing years, onto the paddle. The labels definitely made it easier because now I didn't have to keep using the ruler to make sure everything was aligned.
This is the finished product, and I'm pleased how it came out. I look forward to presenting this paddle to the brothers in my initiating chapter, both old and new. If you enjoy watching this video, hit the like button. Feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.